Oh yeah, yeah, this is the wrong save file. Cool. Good start. Good start. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. This is why I don't have two save files, because my brain just can't comprehend the concept of multiple save files at once. It's just it's just too much for me, honestly. Way too much for me. Um yeah, okay. So I believe what we need to do is boop and boop and sleep. I believe this is how everything worked out for me last time, so we're going to commit to this. Exhaustion down, infection up, hunger up, but alive, and that's the important thing. There's also a note, which I don't think I read last time. Victor Kane's invitation. The man who stole my brother's body gave himself up today. It's our utmost desire now to atone for the just unjustified suspicions we had of you. I hope you will acknowledge the dreadful state the Kane family was in after Simon's untimely demise, and that you will be on our you will find our shortcomings understandable, if not justifiable. Having said that, from now on we will be the first to rise against anyone who dares call you the Ripper. Please come see us. We bear you no ill will. We would like 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 to become better acquainted with you oh cool let's go do that wish i'd read that last time that would have been cool to know uh, this is the wrong way isn't it uh we still got obviously infection health and hunger problems but at least we're alive right at least we're alive uh victor kane was one of the yeah Oh, I've only just realised that these three people are all the same. This is like the Kane estate, I guess. They're all the same family. Because she's Maria Kane, which I guess it says it's her, his daughter. I understand. I thought these were like three important figureheads because I just wasn't reading properly. Um, this whole time I thought they were like three people who sort of run the city or whatever. But um, no, this works too, honestly. This is good too. I understand now. Get the old knife out, you never know when you might need to might need to do a quick shanking. We know actually, since I've just loaded, it's possible this guy might have different stock. The last time I came in here he was just selling lemons and milk and shit, which wasn't particularly yeah, okay. Still just selling lemons and milk and shit. Not particularly helpful that. Um I'm trying to remember if I do have anything I can trade with these guys with? Yeah, I got some stuff. I got some stuff. Anyone got some food for me? Food is sort of my number one issue right now. Hmm, dried meat. That sounds good. I will take your dried meat, good sir. Thank you ever so much. What a fine upstanding gentleman you are. A fine member of the uh, police force. And when I say all cops are bastards, I mean everyone except you, obviously. You're the, you're the one good one. You're the only good policeman. <laughs> uh, um, right, so we need to go see the canes. Uh, I need to heal as well, obviously. That is an issue. I mean, we don't want to get caught in another infinite loop like last time. But the problem with healing is that it's expensive. And I don't really have any easy means of doing it. But... I mean, we can but try, right? We can we can only pray that we can solve this ongoing issue that we're currently living with. I know the hunchback won't have anything for me today. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll be able to get some more shit off him. That will be very, very, very helpful. Uh, but in the meantime, maybe we can grab something from here that will keep me alive a little bit longer. Maybe... I mean, these are what do it, but those are also massively outside my price range right now. Um, I may as well just get rid of these because they're just taking up inventory space and they do more damage than they're worth. Uh, but I don't really ha have anything else I can sell. So all I can really buy... This is the guy I sold my vaccine to. <laughs> um, all I can really buy is a tourniquet, which I guess is better than nothing. I just need to keep my health up, man. I just need to keep... How did I misclick that like three times? What the fuck? I just need to keep myself from just dropping dead between now and um, the hunchback resetting. 
which I'm kind of putting all my eggs in that basket. I don't even know if he does reset. He may have a limited supply of stuff, and I bought it all, and that's it. That's all he's ever going to sell. Uh, this is... I'm going the wrong way here. I was heading towards the Bachelor just by default, because that's just where I always go when I'm in this part of town. It's actually Victor Kane we want to go have a word with. Brother of Simon, the murdered party. He was finally, apparently, accepted that I am not the murderer. Fucking a week later. <laughs> a week after I was officially cleared. Um, which one is Victor? Mansion of Victor Kane, okay. And Maria and Gregory. Victor, I like your upside down statue. It doesn't get any less cool every time. Oh, I like the fucking casual leaning position you were sat Someone's in as well. Desecrated the stone yard tombs, the scoundrels. We were alarmed by rumours of an impending act of provocation. Is that perchance what you've come to see me about? No, I came to see you about the letter you fucking sent me. A procession of infected was supposed to come to the Cape sometime during the day to pay their respects to the sacred graves, but we've received news that some murderous blackguards are planning to attack the pilgrims. Have you heard anything about it? Nope, not heard shit. Hopefully these are merely asinine rumours. Mm, fire starters are indeed running rampant about town. Meanwhile, my daughter would like to apologise for all the wrongs our family has inflicted on you. I think you should talk to her. Of late, she has been... I've been putting her in charge of making important decisions. She's becoming more and more like her mother. Wait, who was her mother? Ah, of course, you're an outsider, aren't you? If you've never heard of my spouse, the Divine Nina, then I'm afraid it won't be easy to explain how important this is and how much it means. Oh, was she one of the seer people? How much what means? The fact that my daughter is growing to resemble her by the day, it means that this town will soon have a powerful mistress who will use her primordial ancient power that comes from the very depths of the earth to stop this cursed pestilence and revive our town to the glory to come. Um, alright, well I guess I'll go see your daughter then if she's that fucking cool. I like cool people who can magically solve all my problems because boy do I have a few of those. Boy am I having a bit of a struggle at the moment. I do love this setup though, like, they, Victor clearly owns all this land and he's just like, oh, just build a bunch of houses on it. I don't want to live with my daughter, she can have her own mansion, just, just a bit further across on the property. <laughs> oh, broke the mirror. That's environmental storytelling right there. She's broken all the mirrors in her house because she's a vampire. You're a vampire, aren't you? Great souls are not those who have fewer passions and more virtues than the common but those only who have greater designs. Uh-huh. Um, I'm sorry that we've been foes for so long, Barak. The quick temper of our family must have been great discomfort to you. You call that discomfort? I apologize wholeheartedly. I'd much rather prefer peace. I've heard that you've done many worthy deeds, that even the feats of the ancient warriors pale in comparison. Are you truly so heroic? Um, in spite of the obstacles you erect in my way, Bachelor is looking for the plague bearer. Clara, perhaps? We think Clara's the the plague bearer, do we? Okay, that's interesting. I mean it's possible. It's possible. We don't we don't know. We've heard it's this sand plague demon thing, right? But it could be anything. You couldn't have come at a better time. Would you do me a favour? I'm all ears and also other body parts. I've heard an enraged mob was planning to get desecrate the mistress's tombs, and well, you see, I disobeyed Dr. Dankovsky's orders recently and went outside to speak to my mother. The tomb is the one that was closer to the cape. You must have seen it. Um, I don't think so. Is it at the graveyard? Because, uh, uh, whatever, I don't get it. I brought a gift to my mother then. A diary, a compilation of sentimental memoirs and nothing more, but it's dear to me. When I was a little girl, my mother used to leave me secret notes in it. The letters were seemingly appearing out of nowhere. I believe the book was talking to me. You need this book. Bring me the diary, Barak. I fear, I fear the tomb will end up desecrated. I wouldn't want the diary to be damaged or fall into the wrong hands. Alright, don't worry. I'll do it. I mean, it's nearby. There's probably going to be some bad men there, but maybe if I'm really lucky, I can just slip past and grab it and get back and then I'll get paid or at least given something that will make my life a little bit easier so fuck it we'll we'll do it plus I mean these people seem to be a powerful influential family I don't know exactly how in charge they are but Simon was like the de facto leader of the town more or less right so I assume Victor is is sort of in a similar standing so I mean having these guys on side probably probably a good thing 
I exited through the wrong the wrong end of the building, which doesn't speak great for my competence, honestly. <laughs> Imagine uh Maria or whatever her name was. Was that was that her name? I don't know. Watching from the window. I was just like, right, it's just up the road that way. And I just walk off in the other direction. <laughs> it's like, ah, I see we've only hired the best people for this job. <laughs> oh, fuck. Got a knife, though. You can say a lot about me, but one thing that is completely indisputable is that I do, in fact, have a knife. I am a knifey boy. Big on the stabs. Yeah, there is like a little mini graveyard here, huh? I think I did pop into this area at one point, like a while back. I don't know. I mean, it's, this series has been going a bit at the moment. Um, yeah, I did pop in here and was like, what the fuck is all this? Is this the tomb? Is this the tomb in question? I assume so, right? Where's the... Oh, bread! I'll, I'll have rain bread. Give... Yes. Fucking yes, man. Oh, sweet, merciful food. Uh, where's this diary, then? I mean, I'm very happy for the... Br what is that? Is that something, or is that just like a glitch? You seen that tiny little thing down there? Like an ant. An angry ant. Oh, wait, hang on. This is milk as well. I didn't even, I didn't even clock the milk. I was so excited about the bread, I didn't even see the milk. Give. God, it's hard to actually point at things. They have to, it has to be, like, pixel perfect in the middle of the screen. And since you don't have an aiming reticle, it's damn near impossible to achieve that. Milk. Milk. Ah, beautiful. I'm so hydrated now. I'm so full of calcium. All those people who are trying to stab me to death and shit, they're... they're the swings will just bounce off my manly, manly bones. Um, oh, there's another, there's another one over here. Maybe this is where it is. Get the old knife back out. Oh yeah, yeah. It's should have just checked the map, huh? I mean, I do have an aiming reticle now. I guess when I have my knife out, I can actually do things. Why can I not pick this up though? Oh wait, hang on. I learned this at one point. Crouching helps to pick up objects. Still no, though. So no. Is my inventory full? Is that the problem? Yes. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not going to fall for this mistake again. Um, I don't know if corpse blood is used for anything. I feel like that's what we took for a quest at one point, but then for some reason it never left our inventory. I don't know if I can maybe throw that away safely. I don't think I've been able to trade it or anything. I don't know if any of this other stuff is going to be more useful. Yeah, fuck it. We'll get rid of the corpse blood. Be gone, corpse blood. I want this book. What the fuck? Hang on. Before we do anything. Um. Mm, no, it's just it's just as is. By the looks of it. I'm just going to save real quick though, just real quick, just going to save. Yep, knew it, okay. I'm not fighting him. I'm not fighting him, that won't end well for me. But yeah, I, I, I knew there was going to be something happening, especially when I heard that big crashing noise. Okay. Did I, was that it? Was it just one man I needed to avoid? Because I feel like... I feel like shit was going to be a lot more dangerous than that. Avoiding a single man is well within my capabilities, I'll tell you that much. I avoid single men all the time. And also, you know, married men and single women, married women, any sort of non-binary or trans people, um, but basically everyone, honestly. I just avoid everyone. Um, I don't really leave my bedroom unless I have to go to work. Anyway, you're the wrong person. <laughs> I came to the wrong house. I apologize. But if it makes you feel any better, I'm having a weird sort of seizure. Um, so, why is my health so fucking low? Holy shit. Hold up. 
Okay, we need to we need to get this we need to get this quest completed. Um I'm hoping she's gonna give me a large amount of money that I can use to buy some medicine like now. Like right this second. Because we're gonna be in another one of those predicaments where I need to keep save scumming and in order to meta game my way to buying some healing or something. Great souls are not those who have fewer passions and more virtues than the common. She's just so chatting shit again. Better a lean piece than a fat victory, don't you agree, Barak? Uh, this is what I found on the gravestone. Oh, thank you, Barak. You've done me a priceless favor. Let me reward you for your work and for the dangers you have undoubtedly faced for my sake. Thank you. Two thousand. That's not. That's not much, honestly. That's not going to go super far, but it will buy me something that will keep me alive. So back to the medicine shop, I suppose. Got to get that infection back down, dude. Got to get that infection. The thing is, I can't get the infection down because not only are infection-reducing tablets incredibly expensive, um, but also there is um, the slight issue of it hurting me to take them. I don't know why I was looking at the map. The shop is literally right on my screen right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy something, probably a tour tourniquet, probably something just to get my health to a semi-acceptable level again. Not even remotely acceptable in all honesty, but, you know, better than, than it currently is. Less likely for me to die immediately. And now we're just going to leg it to my workshop and make some infection curing shit. And I'm hoping I'm going to be able to make something that is good enough um, for me not to uh, kill myself by taking it. It's a bit of a gamble, I'm not going to lie. But again, options are slim. <clears throat> So, unrelated, by the way, unrelated to literally anything, but I'm not a Marvel guy at all. I I haven't, I've watched like three of the movies ever, and that's only because I've been with other people who wanted to watch them, and they're just like, yeah, let's watch a Marvel movie. I was like, fine, whatever. Um, I've never really been a big superhero guy. It's just, it's just not something I'm super into, and I, I find the sheer amount of... Um, media involved in that franchise now to be completely overwhelming to the point where I'd never be able to keep up with it. Um, so I, d I don't really pay attention to news of like new shows or whatever in, in that franchise. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Um, it's alright, we can do this a bit better this time. We can speed run this. Um, yeah. So, recently, I found out that there is a show called She-Hulk Attorney at Law. And, like, I don't know, I assume it's tongue-in-cheek. I assume there is a little bit of self-awareness there, and it's not just... It's not just completely insane and trying to take itself seriously in any way. But, how, how is this a real thing? How is this not like a 2006 Newgrounds parody, right? How is this an actual thing that exists? She-Hulk attorney at law. I'm sorry, but... What? <laughs> what? How? Excuse me? What? Right, anyway. That's, that's that little detour. That I've 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 got out of my system, but holy shit, I I do not understand, I do not understand the, I, I guess like I think this is becoming a thing more and more lately, that like media executives and the people in charge of making like these big like multi million pound franchises and stuff, um, are becoming more tuned in on Zuma humor, right? They're becoming more aware of how like do something wacky and say something epic and you'll get you'll get people following you and people paying attention to your shit like all these uh, like I mean I know Wendy's and Sega both do it and several other um big corporations that, uh, have sort of jumped on that bandwagon as well where uh, 
you you like act like a a 17 year old on twitter and everyone's like oh no he didn't oh my god sonic said the thing oh my god wendy's dunked on kfc or whatever and it it, it's it's so cynical it's so like the first time I, i saw something like that i was like oh that's pretty funny look at these these uh whoever's running this media accounts actually having a bit of a laugh with it that's pretty funny but like the more, the more, the more it happens. The more it's just like, it, you know, that Steve Buscemi fellow kids meme. You know what I mean? It's 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 pretty cringy, honestly. And I don't know what's worse, that kind of cringe, or you know, usual corporate bullshit cringe. Um, they're both pretty awful to witness, generally speaking. I think I just want to not see corporations talk ever I think that's probably probably what my ideal would be um, if they could just stop trying to interact with normal human beings and just sit on their big piles of money and go about their business you know that would be that would be pretty cool um, but uh, no nah, the, 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 the whole thing as I say it it's 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 it cringe it's is the only real word for it at this point i think it really is and the thing is you know it's some poor social media intern who's paid minimum wage probably less than minimum wage because you know internships and stuff um to literally drum up more media attention for these these corporations than their multi-million pound Super Bowl adverts are doing so it's it's kind of sad from that perspective as well you know (laughs) I really wish I wasn't being chased by a man with a knife right now hot take but I'm not big on being stabbed I consider it a bit of a faux pas if I showed up to a to a, a nice um, formal evening dinner uh, put on by the 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 swanky go-getters of of the city, and uh, then someone tried to stab me in the face, I would probably make some sort of complaint to the host personally. I think perhaps uh, that's not proper etiquette. From my experience, he's still following me. I know this because the music is still playing. I don't need to look around. I know. Well, look, see, this guy's getting mad. That means I'm still being followed, which means the several people who have jumped on him as I've been running have done absolutely nothing to stop him. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess someone did something to stop him. Either that, or there's like a protective bubble around this building that makes enemies stop our growing. That's a possibility, you know, it, it being the home base and everything. Um, right. We do have... Wait, no, we needed more black to do. And What happened to the stuff I made? Am I dumb? I mean, I'm probably dumb. I've got some black twire. And some infected body parts. I mean, we've got some of them in the old inventory as well. Um, right, yeah, so we can cook up something here. Uh, two blacks and a brown, I believe. Was it? No, it's three blacks and a brown, right? It was three. You know, this is scummy to a whole new level, I think, but... I need this to work. Eh. You know what? I'll take that. That's fine. I'm assuming that won't be enough damage to kill me. Not quite, at least. Ah. I was mistaken. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, I hope I haven't just got myself in another a little bit of a, another little little pickle. I hope I'm not pickling again. 
that would be real unfortunate if I'm in a position now where I'm too far from um, from a drug shop. Let's try a kidney. It's the same. Wait, did I not loot that? <laughs> I'm gonna want it. <laughs> I need to heal. I need to heal. I can't afford to heal. This is this is where the problem comes in. I can't actually afford to heal. But I need to. At least I can shake off the infection or at least a good chunk of it once uh Ooh. I mean There is one way to heal. I, mean, I was trying to deal with the uh, with the rat before this guy got involved, but what the fuck? What oh, just killed me? He didn't swing. There was no swinging involved there. Was there was there another? Was it was it the rat? Did the rat get me? My good video game. I need some money. I need some money so I can not die. Oh. Uh, I've worked out who it was. I thought I saw a shape as I flipped over. A man standing ominously on the horizon. Where is the nearest health shop to here as well as the other question? Where might I purchase some health? I'm just going to keep running. Nope, okay. Do appear to have a minor issue here. So I don't think I can get past this dude. I don't think because I'm too close to him, he can throw the knife too quickly. You need more distance in order to avoid the knife throw. Come on, throw your knife. Oh, there's a guard behind him. Oh, fuck off, man. Fuck off, man. Play ball a little bit, will ya? You don't have to make life quite as difficult as it is right now. I just need your money. Just need a few pennies off you. So I can afford to not die. Get him, guardsman. That was not what I would call a successful dodge. Whenever you're ready. There we go. Is the guard not on him? Oh, he is. The guard's just fucking shit. Get him. Punch him. Punch him real good in the back of the head. Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks for your complete lack of any help there, Mr. Guardsman. Big fan. Uh, fuck. You know what? I don't think we need these. I'll take the blood. Hey, so I'm going to die. I don't suppose you're in the market for selling me any medical supplies, are you? I mean, no, in a word, you're really not. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> Case in point. So, where is the closest place to get something to heal me? I think it's too far away, right? That might be? I don't think I can make it there. Especially since I can't run past this lad.
We find ourselves in yet another predicament. I really thought maybe if I just ran up to him and then just sort of slalom past him at the last second that maybe he'd throw it like that it wasn't perfect lock on you know and he'd just sort of throw it in front of him mm. I'm putting a lot of eggs in the basket of um, that shop up there being a medical shop and me being able to get into it in time I think maybe the more likely approach fuck I thought that would kill him is uh, having one of these knife guys drop something for me that will save my life I think they can drop bandages and shit right I think that has been a thing in the past God, it, this this entire game has got to become such a fucking skin of my teeth uh, mess of just juggling. How are you not dead? There we go. Fucking finally. Loop, 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 loop. And he dropped nothing. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. I feel like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear the child laughing, so that didn't count as my kill for whatever reason. Do I have to get the final blow? Is that how it decides whether I get loot or not? Because I'm pretty certain the guard killed him that time, right? Did he? Or was it, was it me? I can't remember. I wasn't paying enough attention to my own combat. I do love how much slowdown I get when I first load as well. That's pretty cool. And I will never understand how damage works in this game either. That's another thing I'm just not getting right now. Because sometimes I will stab one of these dudes like twice and they'll just die. And then other times I'll stab them like six or seven times and they'll still be going at me. I don't know if like their health is randomized every time I load the game or something. Or if my damage has like a much wider like range of potential than I... Assume? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I think we might have a problem on our hands. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think I can... I don't think I can recover from this one. I think that last time I overcame something like this was very touch and go. And this one is probably worse. This situation is almost certainly worse. I can't believe how fast my health drains these days. It's it's absolutely criminal. It's absolutely insane. I guess having any infection at all, like any in your bar, drains it. Like I think with hunger and exhaustion you don't start losing health. I might be wrong, but I don't think you start losing health with hunger and exhaustion until they're like right near the top. Infection as long as you have some, you're fucked, basically. So you need to keep it th thoroughly and firmly under control. Shit, man. Thing is, my other load is at the previous one of these issues I had. Because I've just been saving over my, my latest save slot again, which probably, again, was a mistake. I mean, I guess I know I can get out of that situation and then maybe do things better, but... Mm. It'll be a real shame. It will be a real shame if I was browbeaten out of finishing this game it really would I'm 19 episodes in I don't particularly want to stop I 
but look at this situation I'm in right now. And yeah, I'll admit, it's probably my own fault. I probably could have done things better. I definitely could have done the early days better. Like, if I were to start another game on this, it would 100% be like murder as much as possible in the first couple of nights. Because I just wasn't killing anyone to begin with. And uh, it turns out that is an essential part of the gameplay. Maybe if I'd done that, I would, you know, have less resource problems right now. Okay, I mean, that's a nice amount of money, but... Please? Nope, he still has the same stuff. Okay. So I'm going to die again now, which I'm not super happy about. I've remembered that guards quite often drop medkits. They drop a lot of things that are very useful to me. Much more useful than what the, the knife man is likely to drop. If we about turn, was there a guard like just up here? I feel like there was, right? Uh, he's all the way over there. I might not be able to get to him in time. Certainly maybe not kill him in time as well, but I think this might be my better option right now. This is the way I'm, I'm getting out of this, if at all. That was a uh, fucking reaction speed on that lad, wasn't it? Holy shit. Yeah, he did a 180 pivot on, his, on a single toe and just brought his fist round stra straight into my jaw. Just absolutely cracked me one. Is there a closer guard on the left, maybe? Doesn't look like it, so... This is our target. This is our man right here. I don't know if I can take him, is the thing. They're a lot um, faster at swinging than the knife men are. Oh, thank fuck. Cool. I mean, that's not what I wanted, but... We know we can take them. We know we can take them. My reputation's gonna take a hit, but... I don't think I have any other options. We just keep killing this guy over and over again until he drops a med kit or a bandage or something. Something helpful. As I say, I think knife men can drop bandages, but it's been very, very rare when they have. They usually just drop money and razor blades and that's it, which isn't going to help me at this point. Like, even a little bit. And I wouldn't be able to kill that knife man and get up to trade with this guy in time. Assuming this guy even sells medical supplies. So... Yeah, he only takes two hits. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. We're in it. We're in it. We're alive. Holy fuck. Um, where's me? This. Yeah, it didn't help infection much, but it helped it a little bit. I guess I'll just munch through these real quick. Okay, save. Okay, I can't kill any more guards. I can't let my reputation drop any lower. I think I'm already on the point where it's potentially going to be that shopkeepers won't sell to me. So, what I need... My health isn't too bad right now, right? It's bad, but it's not too bad. My exhaustion's fine. My hunger is fine. I think my focus right now is get that infection down, right? Right right this second, infection is my number one priority. Just intrigued what this guy's selling. Nothing! Cool! Very epic. Um, we've got more organs to trade, so I'm thinking we head over here. I don't know if this guy's stock is likely to have refilled yet. If not, we can save scum, we'll load and we'll head to a different one. God. I 
I've played a lot of games um, that have survival mechanics, right? I honestly can't think... I mean, this was 2005, right? I think this might be the earliest example of this I can think of. So, very influential, I guess. But, you know, your, your Minecraft, your Rust, all that sort of shit. Um, yeah, he's not selling black. Okay, we'll load. No, not save. <laughs> But none of them, like, in all those games, it's been like an incidental third party that gets in the way of the gameplay, right? It's always been a thing that's just like, okay, so this is a fun shooter, but every now and again during your fun shooter, you need to take five minutes out of your fun shooting to go and make a sandwich or whatever. And it's always been like um, a mechanic that I feel has gotten in the way of the enjoyment of the game. So when I saw that this game was so heavily dependent on that, I wasn't immediately into it. Um, it's 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 just a mechanic that I immediately consider to be a turn-off, right? But, having said that, the more I played this game, the more I realised that this isn't like something, a mechanic that exists to detract from the gameplay. This is the gameplay. All the other stuff you can get done around it is incidental. The core of this game is staying alive, above all else. It is making sure that none of those bars get to a point that is going to end you imminently, right? And I'm honestly finding it quite enjoyable. It adds such a, a, a layer of like tension and um, intensity and just constant oppressive worry and fear, which it can be tiring and like I couldn't spend a whole day playing this game because I would just be fucking drained but playing it in in chunks like I'm doing right now for the channel it's it's a very unique experience and I, I am starting to understand why this game is so highly revered um, among you know certain certain groups and certain collectives and why it's also so hated like this is such a polarizing concept and it almost polarized me right out of playing it for a long time but now that i'm sort of understanding like in the last two videos right i've had two instances where i've had to really like meta game the shit out of the game in order to overcome a potentially game ending circumstance right how often does that happen in any game I'll tell you how often it happens, practically never. Practically never. It's so rare that that sort of thing is, is necessary. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the pathologic train right now. Do we just like, sell everything? Uh, I kind of want to keep hold of some shit for the, the hunchback tomorrow, honestly. I'll just do one more. Oh no, actually, that's all of the... That's all of what he's selling. I'll put one of these in, I can do that. In fact, I can... Keep doing this until... There we go. I don't know if you do trade everything you give him and you just like lose out if you make an uneven trade, but I, I am cautious about doing that, so. Right, we've got some black twire, we can, I've got a couple of brown left as well, right? Yeah. So I can go make two more infection fixes. And maybe chugging two of those, if I can make half decent ones that don't hurt my health too much will put me back on a playing field where I'm not just dying. <laughs> where I'm not just constantly dead. That would be real cool if I could start day seven in a, a position where I'm actually able to get things done a little bit. I could just have a little bit of breathing room. As I say, I do appreciate these moments of, of pure insane tension and frantically trying to find a solution to not die um but if i could have maybe just like one day just one day where i 
I have a nice time and I walk around town and I talk to my friends and I, tr I trade with the nice policeman and I, I do maybe some basic quests for, for, for a couple of people um oh what joy that would be <laughs> if I could just have a World of Warcraft day you know where it's just like go out and kill six boars for me <laughs> And nothing bad will happen in the meantime. Oh, what joy that will be. <laughs> what glorious peace of mind that would provide. As I say, I think right now, despite the insanity of the last sort of, what, 10-15 minutes of gameplay, I think we're closer, closer to that than we have been in a long time. I really do. I think we're not suffering too bad right now touch wood this is this is the sound of me touching wood that's that's what that was assuming my microphone picked that up um yeah yeah that's where we stand ah oh, did i just find peanuts i found peanuts in the field yummy Delicious peanuts. If only I could find peanuts more often when I'm just walking around. <clears throat> just just some delicious ground peanuts to keep me alive. My voice is fucking going again. Was it the last pathologic video where it did this? I think it was, right? I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. I need a, I need a tune up. I'm going to the doctors in a couple of days. Just a general MOT, you know. Well overdue, I think. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Mix. Thank you. And also... Um... It's another, isn't it? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Mix. I mean, it's quite good even before you mix the organ in, honestly. But we can do better. We can improve it. Take a liver. I assume this is always going to be the same, yeah. That's fine. That what I'm getting from this is not is not bad at all, honestly. Just try a heart to see if that gives me anything different. No, it doesn't. Any organ is the same, apparently. So... There we go. Oh, wait, hang on. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to bother loading and save scumming that, but I think I just learned something. The 62% is relative to your current amount of infection, I think. Because the first time I used that, it healed a lot more infection than it did the second time. I thought it was like, of the max bar, but that wouldn't make sense because 62% would be more than half the bar and I don't think it's ever cured me of that much. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's relative to your current amounts, which is weird because that I did die from drinking one once, but it's possible I drank and then it just ticked like immediately after. We need to keep away from rats. We need to not let the infection build back up again. Right? I mean... Oh! The most pressing endeavors of the day were fulfilled at the expense of several lives of your bound. A mime performance at the theater will feature today's events. Oh. I mean... I didn't really achieve much, but apparently some people died. I guess that's fair. I didn't really achieve much. Um, what? Why did I just get an Isidore diary? It's an extract on inevitability. She's coming towards me with celerity greater than the howling wind. She gathers her brittle fingers together and she goes. She braids her intricate bones. She breaks her lism, lism limbs. That's not a word I know. Um, there are no eyes on her black face and her white face has no nose. The two of her heads are never in conflict. This is what the tale says. I will do what has to be done before the Shabnak rises up from beneath the ground. V is the only one who must survive. Whatever the cost, enough gruel must be made for his enormous body to be fed. V? Is that Victor? He doesn't seem to have an enormous body. He seems to be quite slender, honestly. 
Ah, boars contract the infection too, but the antibodies in their blood do not allow the sand plague to survive and propagate. On the other hand, the antibodies present in the human blood are not fast enough to eliminate the infection before it spreads and enters terminal stage. I'm going to try combining these two, or spend a night trying that. There must be some result, however pessimistic I feel about it. Interesting, so he got the bull blood without me. I guess that happens regardless. I guess everything still continues. Like, people find a way, but if you help them, then you get rewards for it. That's nice. I thought maybe, like, the world was going to end because I haven't been helping The Bachelor with his studies today, you know. Anyway, um, I think we've gone long enough. Uh, we're in... Uh, my health is very low, obviously, but isn't that always the case? And everything else isn't too bad. I can actually fix that immunity a little bit as well. I think I might just do that real quick. Didn't hurt my health too much to do that. Um, yeah, my stats are are all right right now, which I'm pretty pretty happy about. just need to get that health up. So tomorrow, and by tomorrow I mean next time we play, of course, we'll pop over to the theatre and then see what, what goes on in the new day. Hopefully something exciting. I'll see you for that. Bye.